What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to review my very own 2008 Honda Element. So, I did I am redoing this video. Anyways, without further ado, start her up. Let her run. Give you some view glances of the exterior. Um a gas cap. There's back tail lights. Full on back view. Of course it is a four wheel drive SUV. Um so this is what the rims look like, kind of standard rims. Um of course it has a Honda logo on it. Um you have some blinkers on the side, they don't actually work as blinkers, but like if you turn on the headlamps and fog lamps, um that's them. Those are the fog lamps down there. Um you have your Honda grill. Anyways, before we enter the interior, I'll just give you a glance at the top. So we do have a skylight in the back there. Um, that's for the back seats. I'll show you that later. That's one of the features. Um, and I, I don't think this is included with all the elements, but it, um, this one came with that rack, so you could put like bikes or whatever up up there. Um, and before we enter the interior, these mirrors can collapse. So. Um, so if you're in a car wash and you're afraid that the rags will hit the mirror, you can fold them in. That's what they look like. Um, anyways, let's go ahead. Oops. Enter the interior. So it comes with a blue exterior with a really nice gray fabric interior. Um, and some cool about these doors, it opens like that. And and just like the Nissan Cube and the BMW i3. You can open the door like that. The only thing that sucks about it is um, you need to have this, this door open first in order to open this door because of the handle. Um, and if you're, <laughs> um, and you have to close this door first in order to close that door. Um, it kind of sucks, but we'll look at the back seats later. For now, let's just enter the front seats. So, just show you the seats. So. If you pull that lever right there, um, you could bring the seat back into a lounge. Um, the back seats, I'll show you what those do later, they're even cooler, but yeah, you could have this into a lounge, the back seats into a bed, but um, yeah, this broke off, this kind of broke off, but this, if you twist it, it can make the seat like more cushionier or whatever. Um, it's really easy to bring back up like that, and you got you got standard seat belts there uh, on the seat. Um, let's close that door. Um, and we also got adjustable armrests. So if, before we start the engine, I'll just show you, you don't have any glove box, but I actually like this feature because say if you're trapped in the back seat um, and the and you can't open the doors, um, well, you have more access to the front to unlock the front doors. Um, so you could hop over. Um, on the other hand, if there's a glove box, then you would have to like hop over it, um, <laughs> which is kind of a pain. But anyways, let's just close the door. So, without further ado, start it up. So, 135,000 miles on it. Some cool is on the gauge cluster. Um, yeah, see that little car there? Well, if you open the door, even has, <laughs> even shows that your door is open. So it's kind of a neat feature there. I bet all car, I bet most new cars are like that. Um, we got your, um, you got your fuel too. Um, <laughs> even got the six-speed automatic transmission, which is also right here. We do have hazards. Um, full leather X steering wheel. Pretty fluid. Um, right here, both the front windows are fully automatic. Um, so is passenger. But the back ones, I'll show you later, they're manual. Um, got door lock, mirror controls. Got your full on lock and unlock. Um, and yeah, we do got turn signal. Got your headlamps and fog lamps. And 
and I actually never knew this, I just figured this out, guys. Down here, I thought this was to open the hood, but it's a little coin compartment. Just discovered that, um, and we got some compartments right there, too. Um, I'll try to open the hood later, but I might not, um. Anyways, we got windshield wiper controls. Watch this. It's kind of cool there. <laughs> I'm not going to try to mess with them too much because they're kind of confusing. And once I left them on for like an hour, um, my parents got pretty pissed. But um, anyways, we got climate controls here. And we like to use this as a trash. Um, but yeah, you have clearing there. So we got fan, temperature, and mode. Um, and right here we got your radio. Some kind of unique is you can also adjust the volume here too. Um, got some air vents right there, one right there, and on the passenger side. Um, speak of passenger side, let's enter that in a minute. Just show you sun visors. The other side is the same. Um, got got your mirror there and CD holder. Um, we also got overhead illumination here. Just kind of cool. And we also got a, a light here. I think this might be for the rear seats. I I'm not quite sure. But um, anyways, let's enter the passenger side. Shut her off real quick. Passenger side, nothing much. But we do got cubbies here. A pretty full-on glove box. Um, And yeah, the passenger side does have that lever, of course. So you can bring it back into a lounge or bed if you wanted to. Um, now let's go look at the back seats. So, this car actually fits four people, um, cause you, um, it makes you glad though, cause usually in like five feet, five, um, passenger sedans, the fifth seat is kind of useless, and most like modern five-seaters have that thing where you can bring down cup holders, but there's already cup holders here. Um, well, I guess it's not useless, I mean, if you're like picking up passengers from vacation or some, but still for like a family car with four people it's a bit useless um anyway some really cool about these seats pull this and then you can bring the seats back into a bed and then you could like like lay back and there's even a sunroof up there and you can like sky gaze and there's even a light by the at the back in the trunk here I'll show you that right there and this skylight is pretty easy to pop up to and then snap it. It gives you a nice breeze there. Um, and if in order to do, the, do this bed thing, it, you can't have any big stuff in the trunk, kind of like that box. I'm not going to do it with this one. Um, and then you just pull it. Don't put any pressure on the seats. And you can bring them back up. You can adjust our um, headrest, of course. And if you're wondering, I'll close the door really quick. If you're wondering about the manual windows I was talking about earlier, well, you can push that open, gives you a nice breeze, it's kind of unique um, about this car, but if I had to pick between them t the two, I would probably pick automatic, because I think they're technically better, I mean, you could open it, but um, I'm okay with this, I mean, it's a small window, and there's a really big window back there, <laughs> speak of a devil, the seat belts are pretty far back, which is pretty unusual, um, but yeah, and so much leg room, like two feet of leg room, this is probably the SUV with the most legroom. Like, if you put these seats a bit forward, like, <laughs> do hardly any legroom, maybe even the front seats, you could make, possibly fit a third row with a bit of trunk space. Um, and speak of trunk, let's look at that now. The trunk's also pretty unique on this car. It opens in a top section like that, and I would do this if you just want to fit in a few groceries, you know. Um, but if you want to put in, like, big stuff, well, press this lever, and you can also bring the second half of the trunk down like that. Or, you could sit on it too, no harm done. Like if you're having a little family picnic, and you could use this as a sunshade or a skylight. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a pretty massive trunk. Like, I'll bring this up so I don't get confused. That's part of the trunk, but pretty, pretty massive trunk. Like, um, it is bigger than a sedan, but... Um, kind of small for an SUV, but kind of get it because the back seats are pretty big and there's a lot of leg room between them. Um, but yeah, overall, not bad at all. I forgot this light's on. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Overall, this is a great SUV for its age, 2008. That would make it 11 years old. Um, 
Really hope you guys enjoyed. Not a bad car at all. Anyways, guys, it's starting to rain. I should probably get in. Um, it's a great SUV. I will be doing a question video for my next car review, and expect that in a few weeks. Peace, guys.